Someone said this. He said that if a gun is pointed to you and they say deny Jesus, a preacher, someone that claimed to be a preacher is saying this, that if a gun is pointed to you and you are asked to deny Jesus, he said deny Jesus, then after you have denied him, when they leave you there, then accept Jesus. The question is that after you have denied him, if they shoot you dead, then come. Sometimes I wonder the theological understanding people are having in scriptures. This is what happens when you don't sit on the word to meditate on the word. When you don't allow the Holy Ghost to check met every open doors. If you can't die for this gospel, don't even start it. The Bible says that it will be worse for those who knew the truth and walked out of the truth. That it would have been better for them not to have even believed and walked in the truth. Scriptures is there. That is better you didn't even know. That means that in the punishment in the lake of fire, anyway, great. So there are some people that will be punished that they can breathe small. They can give them two seconds breathe. <sighs> you get it? They are, is the screaming in hell. My imagination is too, the way I see things. Then there are some people that there will be no breathing space. Now, the Bible doesn't say there is a breathing space. This is my own interpretation. Because the Bible said there are some people that on that day, they will receive worse punishment than Sodom and Gomorrah. So which means that the punishment is not everybody that will be in the same punishment. And let me help you. Don't have that thing. They say that there is a place you will be kept. If you're a sinner, you go to a particular place, you stay there and then you will suffer for a long time. After you suffer for a long time, you are thrown for your sin over there for years and then God will change his mind and bring you to hell. Shut up! It's not scriptural. You know make him, you know make him. Stop trying to help God. Help us of God. They say you will not be in that place and then you will suffer some penance. You will do some hard labor. After you have done some hard labor and God will change. They said you will not carry spoon and fetch water. When we are small, they say you carry spoon for fetch water and can't be full in a tank. But how many of you heard that lie? You heard it too. Your childhood was lovely. If you didn't hear it, I don't know where you, I don't know how you grew up. They say you go, you fetch it from a tank and then you go a long journey with that spoon of water. And then you can't point and now until that spoon fills, until that butter or that whatever fills, you not, you not, they will not be forgiven. According to the scriptures, if you die without Christ, it's hell. Listen to what I said. According to the scriptures, if God has any other way of doing that, we have not seen that particular way again in the scriptures. According to the scripture, if you die without Christ, it's hellfire. There is no place you will stay to atone for your sin. The Bible says after death comes what? It didn't say after death comes atonement, then after atonement comes judgment. If you can't, even when somebody said, send me from the dead, let me go and preach to my brothers. The rich man versus Lazarus, let me go and preach to my brothers to tell them. He said, if your brothers cannot, Abraham told me, say, if your brothers cannot believe the prophets, ah, they will perish too. Now this, the perish is not there, but that was the context of what he was saying. That they have Moses and the prophets. So if they don't believe them, the question I want to ask you is that they had Moses. I think he said they had Moses, right? But this was being said in the New Testament. <gasps> Are you catching it? And he said they had Moses and the prophets. So let's leave it in Bible class. So fearful are those that are not bold. I, I hear this prophecy. A popular May God help you to carry this. A popular name in the industry. Very popular name. A man who has touched worlds. Heavy worlds. Will come out and declare his faith in Christ. I'm not talking about a Nigerian man. He's a Western and foreigner. A foreigner to you. He will come publicly. And this thing will be happening hopefully by next time next day because I'm seeing a rope that is long. I'm not giving the time frame, but this will not happen before this will happen before two years' time. But this will happen. So is that it happens towards the end of this year, but by next year it will happen. And this will cause a lot of shakings because of his faith that he will and that declaration will bring many that we are lost back. It will help for the fight. That's where I will stop. 
And then a particular people that claims to have known the path, they claim to be ancient in their knowing of the path, will have division among them that they will separate once again among them. Because the man they call to be their one and only God that is up there will make a decision that many of them will finally, that will reveal their agenda. And then many of them will now know that what we have been saying about their man was wrong. That what we are saying, sorry, what we are saying we are, was right, that they were wrong. And God will help their heart to be healed. May the Lord give us an You see, the thing is that when I prophesy, they don't, they don't always bring my prophecy. So please, media, so that we don't come and start explaining that we said it. Praise the Lord Jesus. So give me back my scripture. Thank you. He said, but the fearful and unbelieving. Praise the Lord Jesus. Unbelieving. This refers to those who do not believe in Christ. Remember, the fearful talks about the cowardly. Those who uh, we believe in Jesus. But they still take bribes. They are not bold to announce who they are. They love Jesus. When something comes that can make them compromise, they will compromise. So they say, I'm with Jesus when they are with Christians. And when they are with other people that are not believers, they say, ah, I don't believe in that Jesus. So, Ooh, I will Jesus help. Those are the cowardly. Those are the fearful. They don't have, even at the, at the verge of death, they're not able to stand for him and declare death. I was talking to a believer, a, Christ, a brother in Benin, and there's something we are discussing. He said something. He said, man, that he, he, they, they wish there is a way they can just go to a place that he will now go and confess Jesus so that they will kill him so that he will die. Because you understand that if you commit suicide, you will go to hell. Based on his understanding as well. So if you commit suicide, you will go to hell. So he wants to go to a place where he will preach, they will kill him. So I now told him, anyone that wants to die for Jesus doesn't always die. That you might even go to the place where they are, they are, they are carrying guns. Where they are carrying guns and they said anyone that enters here and talk about you, they will kill him. You will now go there and say, I believe in Jesus. And they will look at you and ignore you. He said, that would be a problem. Because oh. why he's preaching is that he won't die. <laughs> May he go rest. But he can't kill himself. I said, such people that have that mindset can't die. Now you were the only sphere, the only day for the panel of death. He said, if you love your life so much, you will lose it. But if you give up your life, you will have it. Praise the Lord Jesus. So the unbelieving are those who never believed. They could practice good morals, but they don't believe. So they, they, they heard. Now, for them to not believe is that they have heard. For someone not to believe means you heard something, but you refuse to believe it. Is that correct? They, 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 they didn't hear. If they say you're an unbeliever, it means you've heard, but refuse to believe. If, you, if you've not heard... I can't call you an unbeliever. You didn't, you've not heard. That's why the writer say, have you heard the gospel of Christ? Can I tell you about Jesus Christ? And some people say, what about those people that will not hear Jesus before the world end? My brother, I'm not sure that is even possible. I believe everybody will hear about Jesus. Don't limit God on social media and where you are. There are, there are missionaries that are in the thick forest preaching Jesus. That the Holy Ghost is leading them by himself to where they will preach Jesus. During the time of Philip, an angel of the Lord could come and touch him and teleport him. Why you are scared of teleportation? There are people practicing teleportation. I mean they sleep, they leave that place and appear in another country and preach Jesus. People are, people are, people are saying, you know, people are shutting down on miracles. People are shutting down on miracles. Do you know that me I was in a place in Oka here, in Inibo, preaching Jesus. And I told people to stretch their hand. They stretched their hand. I hit my own hand. All of them that were watching me felt my hand hit them. When we talk about supernatural, people are talking down on supernatural. If you are talking down on supernatural, it's because you don't know anything about supernatural. Do you know that if you remove supernatural from the church, you have a lecture room? What makes Christianity, Christianity, is a supernatural a, 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 a gathering where there is no power how we what happened to our sister she came to the church prophecy came and said that when you are speaking people are not understanding and then we broke that thing and then 
We now, she, a prophecy came again, and then just stood at her back, laid hand. Before these things were happening, she already had a dream. And one of our sisters said that she don't used to dream. She came to a pro, our program, all of a sudden her dream life opened. And she was able to see something that was about to happen, which I'm going to explain to her. That thing was talking about your company. Beyond that post you saw, it was a cleaning of you, bringing the, the message of our Christ Jesus into your compound. That was the sanitation. And, and now, the second interpretation of that dream is that the beauty you saw was you. And then there are angels that are coming for cleanup in seven days' time. Now, while you are waiting to see the physical angel to do the cleanup, in that seven days' time, the cleanup has already happened. It's a spiritual thing. The next dream you might have will be, you might have will be a dream where you are seeing yourself packing debt out of the compound. Ocha nanzacha. So one of the things you notice now that is in few time, you find that a particular kind of thing in you will just die. You don't know why. A particular kind of thing you do will just die. For example, if someone that has anger, for example, all of a sudden, they can't find strength to be angry again. It's as a result of the cleaning. Does it make sense? So why she saw it physical was God is trying to tell you that this thing I've said is real and it will happen. Does it make sense? Thank you for that. So he said, the unbelieving, those who do not believe, who never heard the gospel, then abominable. These are people that, did, that, that get themselves involved in detestable sins. The practice that, uh, detestable, the, every kind of thing that offend God. Cutting of their flesh, you know, involving in all form of sin, catastrophic sins, incest, sleeping with family members, sleeping with their father, sleeping with their mother, all form of homosexual kind of evil, all form of evil. Somebody said, I don't used to speak evil in my teaching. I said, okay, Bella Church, I. Praise the Lord Jesus. He said, that, he said, I hate my tradition so much that I don't speak Hebrew. And I gave him one hour message, one hour for something message of me speaking only Hebrew. I sent it to him. I told him, well, you are done watching. I'm waiting for your apology. See, now I'm still waiting for the apology. When people on social media are quick to judge, some of the people on social media, if they see you face to face, they wouldn't even know when they say good morning. But on social media, everybody can fight on social media. So I've now learned to look at profile. If I look at profile, I weigh you. I better leave this one. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. And now they have learned to put adult people's picture on their profile. So you now be saying, sir, um, I want to. I will want 16 years in the year assignment. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. So, abominable. This talks about those who engage in detestable or sinful practices that are particularly offensive to God. These are people that are involved in things that grieves the spirit of God. It could be many things. It's abominable things. Things that is to a man is abominable. A mother sleeping with a, a, a son, abominable things. A father sleeping with a daughter, abominable thing. Blood brothers, blood, um, blood, brother and sister having abominable things. Things that is it shouldn't be heard of. Praise the Lord Jesus. So those things are above me. Now he's telling people that they will, they will find themselves there. Is that correct? And murderers. Now there are two forms of murderers. The mother by physical killing, physical, physical destruction, and the mother from hate in the heart. If you're someone that carries hate, obi akbo. Obi anus, obi akbo. Akbo obi. Obi akbo. If you are in that category, you're also a murderer. Jesus said so, that if you hate your brother in your heart, you have killed your brother. This talks about the purity of the body and the purity of the heart. There are so many things God has played that we must constantly weigh ourselves. See, do your very best as much as you can to follow the scriptures. Then the ones you can do, leave them for the Lord. But do your very best on earth. Do that when you get there. How does it feel that you say there is no God? That Jesus Christ is, is not real. I don't believe it. The you die, bah, bah. here am I, here I'm Jesus. Hey. So it's better for you to do what is right 
accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you died and there was no heaven and there was no hell. You will still be at peace. But there is heaven and there is hell. I don't know how to explain it. We've seen the scriptures being fulfilled. Why is it that every other form of religion fights Christians? Smoke, papa, papa, they don't come to church, begin keeping people for church. Why? Everybody's blaming Christians for the evil in the land. And yet, we are not in power. Nobody has come to your house and there are kidnappers that kidnap people. No pastor has ever kidnapped a person. I'm talking about genuine ministers. Whenever I talk about men of God, I'm talking about genuine ones. No pastor has ever come and kidnapped people. Headsmen are still killing people. They are still going to farmlands. People are scared of going to farm because of headsmen. Because they will kill. I, I, I met a, a, a sister that they killed the father and the mother in the farmland. I had to hold myself not to cry in front of her. Yes. And then your problem is Christians. The ones that are telling you that we should live peace among one another. You know, they want us to come and tell you, anyone that wants to come, kill them. No. Christianity doesn't mean you can't defend yourself. I, I, I've taught you this thing. Christianity does not mean foolishness. It means strength. If a headsman is coming to your house and you, you can run, run. If you can fight, near your sword, guy. This is what I'm telling you. It's not they are coming with sword and you know yourself. You, you won't run. You don't say, if you have faith and you believe, no harm shall come before you. You can say in the name of Jesus, Father, they will not see us and it will work. But if your faith no grieve you, guy, me the sword and say, Lord, the strength you gave to Samson, the might I receive it. God, is sti God still has a spirit called the spirit of might. You can borrow it. If he did it in the times of Samson, why won't you do it in your own time? So they are holding that to kill you. Say, ah, yeah, ba, 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 oh, ba, 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 oh. If you have faith, you can cook it. Sometimes God will use that to stir you up. Hey, I don't, I'm bored though. I've told you before when me and mommy was traveling. We are towards the Nugu. The Poyata they pointed a gun at me. I thought they said, Put down that gun. Is everybody point gun at? Oga, okay, I don't know when to enter me. I like to be honest. I don't know when I talk him. But I don't talk him. So as I don't talk him, I just man up. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know when you don't talk something you're not supposed to talk? Then you know I'm forehand. The guy just pulled his gun down. I said, sir, you know every... The announcer said again. He said, mommy was the mom was in the car. I only God know what this woman should be saying in her heart. He said, this is my husband. And she now, she would be like, ah, my husband have faith. Only me, only me and God know what's going to happen there. He said, not every, it's everybody. All you up like in there when you take put, oh, put what that thing down. The now, guy now brought it. He goes, don't know who he was speaking with. Ha! Ah, when we are done, I enter car. I said, I don't know what you have here. <laughs> I see, man, honesty. I have seen God do many things. I've seen God speak through my mouth boldly. I've, I've met people where I do, where they are watching me, I do, and I started talking to them. This thing you are doing, will, ah. when I was done, I knew that some, some a spirit borrowed my body to speak. So if such danger is coming and you are bold, you can stand there and speak. I tell you, we see, bro. Weapons are both physical and spiritual. The Bible said, it didn't say any spiritual weapon that forged against you. He said any weapon, if it's considered as a weapon, it, if it's forged against you, you can cancel it. That the David O'Boyle said something. He said, why they say lie down? Lie down. When you lie down, arrest the spirit that is possessing that brother. Why you are lying down? Don't say lie down. You say no, 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 calm down. The person you are dealing with is not a human being. There's a spirit there. So lie down first for the human body to agree that he is above you. Then why you on the ground? I bind the spirit of theft. I bind that spirit. Stay there and bind the spirit so that you can deal with the human being. Once you bind that spirit, if he's looking at you, emotion will come to you. He can't kill you. But when the spirit is upon them, they don't know what is killing. They kill anybody. And it's when they are done killing you, then they start feeling emotional. What have I done? And then they go and use alcohol to step down, to calm down what they have done. And that doesn't help. 
to arrest the spirit. He said, bringing into captivity every thought, the thought speaking to that guy to kill you, is trying to rise above the obedience of Christ. So while you are lying down there, arrest it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, arrest it. When we are coming back, we are stopped by uh, what they call them. These people that used to stop emblem. And they said they stopped because I was a priest. They said, I'm now, now they chop tight. So because, now, because I'm a pastor, I was stopped and searched. Not even searched, I was stopped. And yes, I had the paper for 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. But I forgot 2024. Not like I don't have it. I forgot it. I thought it was in the vehicle. And I said, okay. He said, ah, I have to pay 105000 I said, boy, this thing is sold for 25K. He said, yeah, I should call the church. Then they send money. Say, I'm a pastor now. I'm a reverend. That I eat money. That even this child is going to school in a, in a, in a, a Catholic church and they pay a something thousand naira. And that me, that we are priests. I said, boy, not everybody will be reverend, be reverend from Catholic church. Too. He said, all of them are the same. We're not, they collect all our money. We they pay tithe and everything. So the problem he had was with Christian. I said, well, take me to your God. When we got there, all of them there, we are, they, he saw church buses that they seized. So they were targeting Christians. You don't know the depth of all these things. So all those return back to our roots. Some of them don't even know what it means to return back to our roots. To return back to our roots is for us not to forget our culture. It has nothing to do with idol worshipping. That even as a pastor, let me not forget my culture. Let me not forget speaking my Igbo language. Let me not forget developing my city, my village, my community. That's what it means to return home. To bring investment back home. To come and help our brothers that are suffering. To bring boreholes, to bring better things. Not to just be scattering hotels everywhere. All this is a part of investment. You know, blame place where they build hotel. Now, where you go see money in the build? But how do you want them to bring that investment when there is insecurity in the land? But of course, we should bring the investments. So some of these people that are saying return back, you have to explain what it means to return back. Because I never left. I'm still in Anambra State. Headquarters of Watchtower is in Anambra State. Until God says otherwise. And we have many, many of you here are our guys. Many of you here have employed many people in your business. Are you not home? And are you not helping people in the home? You are. I love, I love that I'm a Christian. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hello. Thank you for watching the video. And I hope it was a great asset to you. And I hope it was also very useful. If you haven't commented, if you haven't liked it, please do that. And for more videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. God bless you.